it's got to be like a couple degrees below zero. The sun's finally coming out. <laughs> you can hear the snow. It's not even like real snow. And she just wants to like poop in an ice hole over there. Come on, you were just about to poop. Anybody else's dog do this? They're just about to poop. And then they just like get so distracted. Like, what are you looking at? Look at this, it's just a frozen field. We're just in a frozen field right now. Okay, I'm using the last bit of remaining daylight and not my ring light because I'm so excited. I just got home and I told you guys about the Blizzard Cooler reaching out and wanting me to try out their product, the Blizzard Cooler, for the first time. I haven't even cracked this open. And there's a specific reason why. To use the Blizzard Cooler, it requires a 12 inch beaker bong as the blast water pipe that you're gonna use to cool down your smoke. I don't own a 12 inch beaker bong, but this was a upgrade opportunity, literally still in the box. I up and copped a Grav Labs 12 inch medium beaker bong. But before I were to test out the blizzard bong, I mean, sorry, the blizzard cooler, how would I know if I'm getting any smoother of a hit if I haven't just hit this thing straight up. So let me clean up a little bit, um, drink some water, and get ready to smoke some weed on camera with y'all out of this. We have to hit this piece just on its own without any of the cooling things, accessories, whatever. Um, <coughs> okay, the blizzard cooler is pretty much broken down into two parts. The sheath sleeve, if you will, that will go around it, and the cooling elements that we are going to place in the freezer. These have to be pre-frozen to go in here to use the blizzard cooler to achieve the coolest hit. Oh my god. Well, let's calm that down. But I wanted to let you guys know, I just watched the full instructional video from the Blizzard Cooler. Really, this breaks down to a very simple concept. We are from top to bottom going to cover our beaker bong in a combination of cooling gel packets and a neoprene case? Wrap? A neoprene wrap. But tomorrow night is Friday. Me and homegirl don't got anything going on. We are going to try and take the coldest bong rip that I've ever taken. And honestly, to find out if cooling your smoke really does anything. Because honestly, I don't think it will. 20 to 25 minutes is a little bit longer than... Mm, maybe than I'd hope. However, if that time truly makes such a large difference in the temperature that I can just blow a hit, that would be impossible without the blizzard cooler. I'll play. I'll play that game. I'll play that 20, 25 minute game. That's cool. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical about the blizzard cooler. I don't know. How much really could it cool it down? Let's find out. Well, step one is having that cold, cold water in your 12 inch beaker style bong. Let's go ahead and get this started. We got this bad boy here and we're gonna put the first ice pack in this.
too little. And see, well, just because the thing froze uneven. It's all good. Nice. It seems like it's sealing well. Is it hard? Um, neoprene is a pretty durable fabric to begin with. So maybe it's got to be broken in a little bit. Yeah. Oh, don't forget the ash guard, babe. Now that we have all those parts on, I can see how it would be a good travel um, accessory as well. Nice. There we go. We just have to wait 20 to 25 minutes. And one of their special little tips and tricks is to cover your mouthpiece. They say covering the mouthpiece will increase the... Uh, I'm um, sorry, decrease the overall temperature of both the water and smoke. So let me find a decent cover for that. In case anyone cared what I'm actually going to be smoking on through the blizzard cooler, I've got some Mac 1 by Air Rise. Really just how trichomed out this son of a gun is. My God. That's actually crazy. It has been 25 minutes. We have everything ready to go. Gang, we've seen that I can hit this. I haven't done this size of a bowl yet on purpose. I was waiting to see. Can, the coolest hit from the blizzard cooler, improve my smoking experience. I'm excited, but slightly nervous. I'm gonna do this right now with you guys. No pain. Yo. This isn't the Voyager. There's no percolator. This is literally just a beaker. No cough. I did the whole bowl with no cough. Still no cough. Okay, okay, okay. That, that, that first experiment can show there's absolutely been a big effect by applying the blizzard cooler. That's smooth, real smooth. I could tell as soon as I placed my mouth here that it's, it's, it's very cold, it's very cold. Um, my gosh, should I just, I can't believe I normally will put much more time in between a couple bowls, but I mean, gosh, let me see if I can do this one. Cheers. Yo. Okay. We have a, I, I can say, it's a, a successful product. I mean, wow. I absolutely had a ton of doubts, a bunch of anxiety that this wouldn't work or do anything. No percolator. Just a straight up 12 inch beaker bong. Two bowls back to back. Not a single cough. Man. This is great. The bong is actually really, really cold. I was told in the gut. Sneezing on the set. <laughs> yeah, the water is way colder than, I just essentially just put some tap water in there to the coldest setting. Uh, it's definitely way colder than that. And the temperature of the glass, 
clearly a much more frigid one. What'd you just get done doing? Oh. I'm not really sure about this ash guard. I have it attached here. It's the last thing you do before then placing the bowl in there. Um, I don't think it's necessary. I understand its purpose is to obviously guard against ash going down there, but I don't know. You can see well, the Velcro keeps that all attached. It's the early morning. I generally do not have the ability to just cook up a normal bong rib first thing in the morning. They're the ones I generally cough out. I'm just not able to take them in well. Um, so this will be the first of the day. I think this is the true final test of the blizzard cooler. This is that one moment of the day where I, just as a smoker, I generally need a little assistance. Well, we've got, we've got it set up here. Um, I'm excited. I'm truly excited for this because this will really show me if this is uh, worth it. Is this lighter like for real, for real dead, like on camera? Are you shitting me? Got you, bitch. Blizzard cooler, let's do this. This worked even better than the last time. When I went to the mouthpiece, just the glass was, it was much colder than the previous time. <laughs> Look at that, man. That was great. It was a pain-free, really, it was a good, good amount of smoke. It was a big hit. All right, man. Now I got to point out something that they sent me. Took tonic, but check it out. This is a terpene-infused bong water that's not actually water because, as you can see, at that top benefit next to that disgusting dog hair, you can see that it doesn't freeze and you can enjoy cooler and smoother hits. I've been using water in the first two tests that we did. Um, they didn't specifically tell me to use this, but they sent it. So, I mean... How could I not? I'm so sorry about the dog hair. Check it out, man. Yes, sir. Well, we got Irby fully loaded right here. And I just wanted to point out that I'm taking it to another level. Not for the potency, y'all, but honestly, Keith makes me cough. There we go. There we go. Sorry. Sorry. There we go. Okay. This thing is ready. Didn't think so. Just wanted to show y'all before I get this uh, all packaged up for the final time that we don't have the drawstring tightened just yet, but time to put this bad boy around the neck of the beaker. Ready to rock. Just got to give this bad boy 20 to 25 minutes. What the hell? Obviously, a terpene-infused water pipe liquid. I'm gonna smell some terpenes, but I guess I just didn't think I would. I can tell it's very thick. And honestly, I just want to make sure it's over the perk down there. We're doing this. We're testing this right there. I'm not adding anymore. I'm ready. Yo! That tastes amazing. Wow, one more. 
Yeah, Toketonic, um, you were unexpected addition to this review, but slowly turning out to be a game changer. Hmm. Gang, this is it. We have it fully assembled. The Toketonic water pipe terpene infused liquid is in here. It's been 25 minutes. The Blizzard cooler is going to give the coolest hit possible at this point. And I showed y'all what I made. A big, big old bowl of some crazy train haze by Verano from their G-Line. <clears throat> Excuse me, that was disgusting. The first thing I want to relay is that that toke tonic is ridiculous. The flavor that I just put out on that hit was so uh, floral, slightly citrusy, smooth. I also I'm not coughing, which is crazy, which is tr truly nuts, truly nuts. So we can go ahead and say this. The Toke Tonic combined with the Blizzard Cooler really can take you there. It can take you there. Done. Dunzo. Winchester. Smoke that whole guy right there. And in the end, this whole review, this whole product was about giving a cool, smooth hit. In the three tests that we've done, I give it 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 in doing what this product said it would. Honestly, I'm surprised. I really didn't think it would work or have a nice effect like that. So honestly, Blizzard Cooler, you guys really surprised me with this. Thank you so much for allowing me to review this and try it out because I had a blast.